and hello everyone welcome back to another Pascal tutorial in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at records now a record is similar to let's say an object in C++ or an object in JavaScript in a sense you can define almost your own type that can hold properties inside of it as an example, let's say type users. And let's say this is users that we may be stored in the database. It is of type record. And we just say end. Then in here, we can specify all of the values that should be stored inside of this record. Let's say the user's name. That's a string. And then we should maybe just say full name. Just so we didn't mix of keywords. Let's say their age, which is an integer. And height, which is like a double. And a hobby, which let's say is like an array. 1 to 10 of char. There we go. So here we have almost like an object that can store a full name, an age, and height, and a hobby. Now let's create two users. So user one and user two which are of type users and it might actually be better if you call this user because it defines one user specifically all right so now we have our own custom type that contains its custom values and it's simple enough to assign to this for example user one dot dot full name and that becomes Mike Jackson. And we can go user one dot age. We can make that 19. User one dot height. We can make that 1.8 liters in meters. And we can say user one dot hobby. And this right here is equivalent to a string in sense. However, you're limited to 10 characters. So this array of char here will actually allow you to store a string inside of it. It's just not allowed to be longer than 10 characters. So now you can say sleeping. So here we assigned values to the properties inside of this user. Now let's actually access these properties with right line. And we can just say name user one dot full name and let's also try to display age by saying age now if we were to run this we get name mike jackson and ages 19 so we can access as well as assign using this dot notation and that is actually most of this that you need to know so you can assign using this dot notation and you can access it using this dot notation now, you might have noticed that typing out user1 dot, user1 dot, user1 dot, it became relatively cumbersome to do that. So what you could instead do is you could say with, and let's make this user2 now. So let's say we wanted to do this with user2. Then we would have had to do this. But let's say we say with user2 do begin and end. And now we just plop this in here cool but the difference is now we don't need to specify user 2 we can just do this because it will automatically infer that user 2 should be added to the front of this and of course you could do something like user 1 dot full name is pickle man and if you want to do display users one's data here you will actually still need to use user 1 so we can just go user one dot full name here like that. So you can't just use full name here because then it will try and access users to full name. But with this with here, you can just specify these values and it will automatically infer as long as there's no variables that has the same values here or the same names here. It will automatically infer that these belong to this user too. If we save and run this program, we can get name Mike Jackson age 19 and user one name is pickleman and that's the basics of a record you 
ultimately define your own type that can store multiple values and you can access as well as reassign them using this dot notation or if you're using with you can just use them as is thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all again in the next pascal tutorial